Hold the Octodam in your left hand, with the opening towards the right side. Grip the intraoral ring with the fingertips of the right hand directly through the opening and compress it completely. It is important to completely compress the intraoral ring until it touches itself and until two wings spread sidewise at the closed side. Now the dam can be placed in four simple steps. During the first step, one of the two wings is placed as deeply as possible behind the first corner of the mouth. If this first placement is not deep enough, you will run out of space when placing the other side. In the second step, place the second wing behind the second corner of the mouth. This can be achieved with or without using a mirror as an aid. In the third step, the intraoral ring is placed in the fold behind the upper lip. To achieve this, bring the extraoral ring to the level of the vermilion border and ask the patient to slightly close his or her mouth. In most of the cases, the intraoral ring will then slip into the fold by itself. In the fourth and final step, the intraoral ring is placed in the fold behind the lower lip. The optradam sits now perfectly in the fold, ensuring an ideal fit during treatment as well as during opening and closing of the mouth. To isolate the individual teeth, slip the interdental septa of the optodams through the contact points between the teeth, initially without the aid of dental floss. This is much easier than trying to put the holes over the individual teeth. To simplify the process, slightly pull the septa with the index finger of the one hand in the direction of the fold and hold it on cervical level. Using the other hand, now pull the septa in a lingual direction and through the contact point. Thanks to the three-dimensional shape of the optrodans, it automatically stays in position in most of the cases without the help of additional stabilization elements. Now, using the same method, continue to pass one septum after the other through the contact points. For enhanced fixation and overview, we recommend that you expose not only the tooth to be treated, but also some adjacent teeth on both sides, even in case of single-tooth procedures. For the following easy removal of the octrodam, pull the interdental septa with the forceps in a lingual direction out of the interdental space and cut them with the scissor. To remove the octrodam, slowly pull the extraoral ring outwards until you can get hold of the intraoral ring and easily compress it horizontally. This facilitates subsequent removal.